Hi friends of Cocktails! Today I'll show you how you can become the star of this upcoming festive season by making boozy hot chocolates for everyone. We'll make one with rum, one with mezcal and one with branca menta. So whether your friends or family like funky, smoky or herbal flavors or even just some good old plain hot chocolate, I've got you covered because we'll make them all. If this video helps you out, give it a like and hit the subscribe button. That helps us out and leave a comment on which hot chocolate you look forward to trying the most. Now, it's cocktail time. I'll first make the basic hot chocolate recipe. We'll add our choice of spirit or liqueur straight into the cups later. If you've never made your own hot chocolate from scratch, you don't know what you're missing. This is simple and delicious. Here's what you'll need. 180 grams of baking chocolate, 520 mils of milk, 32 grams of sugar, 9 grams of cocoa powder, 2 grams of salt, and to get the thick and rich texture, 15 grams of cornstarch. The thickening agent will make our hot chocolate in the style that's more popular in Europe, particularly Italy and Spain, as opposed to the thinner, lighter version popular in the USA and Canada. First step is to dissolve cornstarch in a splash of milk. Without this, you'll have lumps in your hot chocolate, and no one wants that. Then chop up the baking chocolate, so it will melt faster. This one is made with 60% cocoa. Transfer to a saucepan, and if you have a small piece extra, don't let it go to waste. Add some milk and place it on medium-low heat, stirring until the chocolate melts and dissolves. Make sure it doesn't stick, or do this in a double boiler. Then we can go right in with the sugar, cocoa and a pinch of salt. Salt will enhance the chocolate notes, so don't skip it. While constantly whisking, slowly pour in the rest of the milk. And the final step, add the dissolved cornstarch. Keep stirring until it's nice and thick. And that's your hot chocolate done. This will be enough for 3 boozy hot chocolates. But if someone's looking for a non-alcoholic treat, just pour them a cup of hot chocolate, garnish it with marshmallows, and they're good to go. But I'm here to show you how you can take this to the next level. So get a bottle of rum. I'm using the funky Smith & Cross Jamaican rum. A bottle of mezcal, I'm going with Vida Mezcal, or a bottle of Fernet Branca Menta, the minty version of the famous Fernet Branca. You can of course go with a different spirit, whiskey, brandy, cognac or even tequila would work. Same goes for liqueurs, test out different ones if you like to experiment. But for this tree, we'll have perfect garnishes. Tonka bean whipped cream for the funky, cayenne pepper and dried chili strings for the smoky, and of course mint for the herbal. I'll quickly show you how I made the tonka bean whipped cream, and if you can't get tonka bean, you can try the same technique with cinnamon or nutmeg. I'm using 100 ml or just under half a cup of whipping cream and grating tonka bean straight in the cream. I like to add about half of a bean, but adjust that to personal taste. Same goes if you're using cinnamon or nutmeg. We'll whip the cream to stiff peaks, but make sure you don't turn this into butter. I'm using a milk frother, since I did enough labor with hand tools in the previous episode, making a cocktail like my grandma used to make it. Once the tonka bean whipped cream is made, Place it in the fridge to chill. Once you have that, you're ready to mix the boozy hot chocolates. I'll start by adding quarter of an ounce or 7.5 ml of our spirit or liqueur into each of the cups. For the funky version, I'm adding Jamaican rum. From there, we're going to Mexico and adding the smoky mezcal. Like mentioned, tequila or other spirits work as well. Lastly, Fenit Branca Menta for the mint chocolate combo. If you want to make this boozier, go ahead and double the amounts I'm using. Then we'll top each cup with our hot chocolate. If you'll only make one version, you can triple the amount of the spirit you're using and mix it directly with the hot chocolate before pouring. Give everything a nice stir and move on to the garnish. A bouquet of mint for the fresh herbal aroma. And don't forget to give it a spank to release the essential oils. To add some heat to the smoke, sprinkle the smoky hot chocolate with cayenne pepper and garnish it with dried chili strings. That's fire! For the funky version, scoop a tablespoon of tonka whipped cream, which will make a little funkier by grating it with more tonka. Now the fun part. If you had to pick one, would you go for the funky, smoky or herbal one? Let me know in the comments and I'll tell you which one's the best. Starting with the funky version, you get a warm aroma of tonka and chocolate with a little funk from the Jamaican rum. These are then perfectly mixed with a combination of cool cream and boozy rich hot chocolate. Delicious! Next up, chili and subtle aroma of smoke let you know what to expect with this one. Smoky mezcal, rich chocolate and cayenne pepper is a combination that should be talked about more. It's shockingly good. The dried chili strings not only look good, 
but provide a nice aroma with every sip. And lastly, the liquid after 8. Mint and chocolate are a classic pairing for a reason. From the aroma to the palate, it's a fresh, luxuriously rich experience, with a subtle bitter note of Fernet Branca. Perfect for any winter occasion. All three are so good, it's honestly only one way to say which one's the best, whichever one you've got in your hands. Last year I made the green eggnog, but I think I should give the Grinch this, it would make his heart grow, for sure. But don't just take my word for it. Try these recipes for yourself. I'll see you next time. Cheers!